Hey, Jack. Yeah. Now that we're talking a little bit about drag racing and characters, tell us about Ira. Remember he mentioned about Ira, the promoter? You mean Ira Leachy from US 30 Dragway? Yeah, that guy. Okay, first time I ever met Ira. Yeah, that's a good story. I was down home in Tampa, Florida. My friend Billy Herman, the owner of the Tampa Dragway, called me one day, says, come over to my house, I have somebody I want you to meet. So I go over there and he said, bring all your stuff with you, show them what you got. So I didn't know who I was going to meet. Go in and here's Ira, big oversized promoter from US 30. And I show him all my stuff and he, he says, well, he says, I have a freak show that I run every once in a while. <laughs> a freak show, he said. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he said, I might could use you in the freak show. I said, a freak show, what's that? He said, well, I got these two black guys, rides a motorcycle, and they go down the drag strip, one of them slides off the back, and he drags the, the, his partner the rest of the way, uh, you know, skiing on his yeah. feet. And I said, well, that, that's good. He said, then I got another guy with a motorized bathtub that goes down the drag strip taking a shower. That's a freak show. Freak show. <laughs> yeah. and he said, I, I could probably use you in there. I said, however, I said, you, you don't get it. I'm not a freak. I'm a speed demon. So besides, you didn't tell him that hillbillies only take a bath once a month. That's right. <laughs> so anyway, that was that was the first time I met Ira, and uh, we left it at that. Yeah. We didn't make a deal or nothing. The next time I saw Ira, this was back in the winter time, the first time. I, next time I saw Ira was out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, at the AHRA Spring National. Yeah. And he comes over to me in the, in the pits and he said, look, he says, uh, I'm going to go set up in the, in the grandstand when you make a run uh, to see how the crowd acts. And he said, I mean, we might can make a deal. So at the end of the drag strip in Tulsa, there was a bump. And I, I was watching these top fuel cars go through it. And they bought them out, sparks flying everywhere. So everybody was asking me, said, what are you going to do when you go through it? I said, probably won't bother me. I'll probably be in the air if it'll bump. So they had a TV guy go down and with his camera to see. And he claimed that when I went across there, there was a foot in the air. But I never did get the tape or anything. So Ira, he, he sits in the grandstand. And I never did go back down the return road. They would always tow me back down the, the, the drag strip. And I got down in front of the audience and they, they, they went wild. The crowd went wild. And we went on back to the pits, got ready for the next run. Ira comes over and he said, look, I want to talk to you about it. He said, I got quite a number of dates I can use you, but you've got to run against somebody. I said, well, normally I don't do that. You know, we just make buy runs and, and that's it. He said, no, at US 30, every pass is a match race between whoever's running, and they bet on every race. And the flagman does not, the starter, he does not turn the light on until he gets a signal from up in the stands that all bets are down. It's kind of like horse racing almost. Horse racing. Wow, a track with a bookie. On I said, stands. well, who, who is that, this guy? What do you want me to run against? He said, Art Arfon, oh, wow. the Green Monster. And oh. this is not a normal drag jet car. This is his land speed car, a huge, what is that? J79. How many pounds of thrust do you think? 17, 18,000 pounds of thrust. Thousands of pounds. Wow. Huge. And he had huge. These, but the, he had these two huge. I think it were about 24 foot ring slot shoots that come out. Boom! Well, it's like a, that thing's like driving a semi with that big motor in it. Oh my God. But I, I, Art, this is right after Art had had an accident out in uh, Texas. And he told me, he said, I'll never drive that thing on a drag strip again. So I asked uh, Ira, I said, now, Who's going to drive this car? He said, Art. I said, Art Arfons himself is going to drive the car. Yep. I said, okay, I'll deal. I was betting on what Art had told me that he wasn't going 
to drive it on a drag strip again. Yeah. So we made a deal, and we sh I show up at US 30, and I'm up in the pits getting ready, and they had all big, big thing about the little jet, a little rocket uh, go kart running against this big jet, and, you know. The place was packed, absolutely packed. I'm up there getting my cart ready, and this big white Cadillac DeVille comes in. And there's a big black guy in a back seat with a white suit on. And he must have been the bookie. Huh? Was he the bookie? He must have been. Oh, yeah. Because he, he asked me, he, he <laughs> said, you Captain Jack? I said, yeah. He said, you going to outrun that, uh, that guy? I said, yeah, I'm going to outrun him. So he said, good, we're betting on you. <laughs> <laughs> Inside information. Yeah, yeah. Inside information. That we're betting on you. The next thing that happened at that same meet is Art comes over and he said, you know, they got us running against each other. I said, yeah, and I agreed to run against you, against you driving the car. I, I didn't think you would show up driving the car. I said, you told me you weren't going to drive it anymore. He said, well, you know, people change their mind. So we got a hold of Ira again. Here's Ira in the back end. We told Ira, so we can't run. Uh, Head to head. Right, on the side thing. by side, right. So Ira, he goes ballistic. He said, we're going to have a riot here. These people are going to riot. We can't do that. So he takes us down and up in the tower, and Ben Christ is up there. Ben Christ is the head guy of AHRA and that drag strip. He said, these guys are not going to run against each other. So we talked, and we finally decided that that we would tell the people that we we're going to do it on, on a time, a lap time. Whoever had the lowest lap time would be the winner. They're not going to buy that. They're not going to work. We're going to have a life. Right okay, I said, I'll make a deal with you. On my contract, that's for so much, for three runs, I said, I'll make one run by run by myself. If they don't like it, then I load up and I leave, and you don't owe me a nickel, nothing. Except for if they like me, you give me the rest of my money. I make two more runs. Okay, they said we'll we'll see what happens. So I go down and they announce when I come up on the line. They announce going to be, and there was kind of a rumble, and you know I didn't like it too much. I made the run right at a six-second flat run about 2.13 or 2.14 or something like that. And at that strip, they had a closed circuit camera, uh, TV. Had a cameraman on the start line, had one at a thousand feet, and one at the end. So I made the run, went down. They come down and got me out, taking my helmet off, gathered the parachute up, was sitting on the parachute down. I go by the first cameraman down at the end, he'd give me a thumbs up. Next one, he gives me a thumbs up. So go by the grandstand, uh, full of people, and I don't hear anything. It's quiet, and I'm thinking, what's going to happen now? So it just happened that Big Willie Robinson, you remember Big Willie? Big Willie, you know? he was respected He's by all part. racers. Yeah, he was a pretty cool guy. Big Willie was famous. Yeah, very, uh, very cool guy. He went into Watts there when they had the riots out there, and started a, a, a series of Run What You Run. So from that, that's why Willie was there. I think it was Street Racers Association or something yep. like that, yeah. As we're coming back down, the starter jumped out, threw his hand up, so I turned the tow rope loose, stopped. Big Willie reached down and literally picked me up and set me up on his shoulder. He's, he's a big guy. Yeah, tall, very tall, really muscular. Big muscular, guy. Big muscular. And from the tower, Ben Chris says, now, that's all he said. And the people went crazy. The crowd went wild, the people went crazy. So he looks down at me and he said, Cap, you got a deal. So Art was up next. And Art got a big generator on his uh, tow car that his motor had to be running to run it. He was sitting up there trying to start, he ran out of gas with his tow car. Oh, wow. 
I had to go get him gas. But anyway, we got it all over, and uh, Ira was happy. Everybody was happy. The crowd was happy. And I made many, many appearances at U.S. Philly Dragway after that. So I take it you won the match? You were faster oh, than Art? Hands down. Wow. The hands down. Art said, look, I know he's going to beat me down there. He said, but when I go by, I'm going to be going like 250 with these shoes coming out. And he said, I, I don't want to suck him up in the shoe or blow him off or something like that. So everything turned out all right. I, I won the match. There was no money on the match, but in my pocket, I should have got a cut out of the grandstand, right? Yeah, sure. Well, you did good. 